Hi, my name is Kiali and I'm going to show you how to make a paper chain. So what you need is paper, obviously, scissors, and something to mark with, like a pen or a marker or a crayon or a pencil or anything. So this first one is going to be a paper chain of people, and it's going to be in one dimension. Okay, it'll be sort of in one dimension. So you first have to cut a long rectangular strip. I'm going to tear it. Then this, then this strip you have to fold into little rectangles. So you can do a square or a large rectangle like this or a thin rectangle like this. So I'm going to do a thin rectangle. And you just fold, fold it again and again. Now what I'm going to do is draw a shape here, shape of a person, and cut it out. And that shape is going to come on this, is going to come here, 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 here. It'll be repeated on all of these triangles, I mean rectangles. Now an important part when you cut it is you, you can cut off all of the top, you can cut off all of the bottom. That will just make the final thing shorter. But you cannot cut off all of either side because if I cut off all of this side, this fold will get cut off, and then this piece of paper is going to go, and I'll just end up with a lot of pieces of paper, which is not the goal here. So you have to make sure to leave a little bit of each side uncut so that, it's, so that the whole thing can join together. Then I'm going to draw the outline of the person. And, this, and these hands are the parts that are going to be left uncut so that it will join together. So the final one will be many people holding hands. Now cut along the outlines. And you don't have to make a person, you can make any shape. Now the cutting is finished so we can open it. stand in a circle or stand like that and here is the finished human chain so you can use this method to make a paper chain or also if you cut these joins you can use it to mass produce little paper people So here's the second paper chain, where the people chain was like a 1D paper chain. This is going to be a two-dimensional one. So, where in that I folded a, in, where in that I folded a rectangle and then cut it off. Here I will fold the rectangle, but I will not cut it off. I'll just fold it again. And again. So now, just fold this again, as in the 1D paper chain. This time, I'm going to use squares. Okay, now, in that one you had, in the one-dimensional one, you need to leave a bit of each side, a bit of each side uncut. In the two-dimensional one, you need to leave a bit of all of the sides. In the 1D one, you only needed to leave two sides uncut. Now you need to leave a bit of all the sides. I'm going to cut a plus sign from this. And that plus sign is going to get repeated on the paper many times. Okay, so now it's finished. Now all the cutting is finished and we have the plus sign. And you can open it. So now you get a normal plus sign paper chain. But 
You can unfold it the other direction as well. And you have a net. So here's the unfolded chain. You can do different things with the chain. You can hang it up. You might make many of them in different colors and put them on each other. You could put it on top of another piece of paper in a different color. But what people normally might use nets for is to catch things. So I could catch myself and I could catch you. <laughs>